Welcome back. And if you're new here, I am able, and so are you. I have here today a couple of crescent knives that, guys, I am very impressed with. Um, they did have these uh, on sale during the holidays, and that's probably the best time to get them. Um, but let's just take a quick look at them. Uh, this will be a short video. Uh, I just want to share what I found. Now, that's the part number, and that's pretty... Let's see. Let's just go ahead. CPK 325CHV. SET set crescent trusted by the trades 3.25 pocket knife drop point that drop point means from here to there just drops uh lightweight smooth action yes I can attest to those deep pocket Lifetime warranty. Let's see what we got on the back. Okay, probably got quite a bit of stuff here, but you guys are welcome to pause that and read it uh, at your own leisure. Um, yeah. Let's see here, some of your safety. Design engineer tested in the USA, but made in China. Hey, is what it is. Oh yeah, and uh, that's when they, they mark these down. So let's quickly talk about the price. Uh, if you buy one of these, they're about 18, 19 bucks. Uh, this set, I'm guessing, is was a promotional set. And they were running, I think they started them out at like $35 during the holidays. And then you know how they do. They drop it as it gets closer and closer to Christmas. They drop it, they drop it, they drop it. And I think the lowest they went on these were, um, I don't know, 20 bucks, something like that. I think the lowest they went on them maybe 17. I can't remember, but uh, I went on ahead and bought a set and I was so impressed. Uh, I went back to get another one uh, and I actually got a couple of them. So I got these knives laying all over the place and uh, uh, they, they went up, they did something and the young lady she marked them down to $15 when they should have been, you know, a little bit higher. And so I got a couple of these. I got, so I got about, I don't know how many knives I got. Six, eight, I don't know how many I got. But great. I mean, these, the action on these, just like you saw that. I mean, they are smooth. And if we take a little closer look, let's let's do that. Look at that. You know, I'm not a guru when it comes to knives. So, you know, I know the reason why some knives are very expensive is because of the steel that they're made of. That's a big determining factor in price. Um, and so your cheaper knives are going to have cheaper metal. And then you tear them up and you have to go buy another one. And some of your more expensive knives will have better metal and they're less likely to chip and break. But you know you can destroy any knife if you abuse it. So let's just look. You got a little gnarling down here. I like that. I did, I did feel like these were too smooth. And I wish that gnarling, that gnarling there was all over the knife or maybe in patches. Because I thought that I would be this knife would be slippery, and it is. But I've learned how to handle the knife, and so uh, I, I haven't had this slipping out of my hand. 
there's the um, badge for Crescent. Their hammer and their C. And so the ergonomics is really good. And so I, I like they got how they got this stop here and an indention for your index finger so that if you're doing anything, your, your, your hand won't slide up past this blade and get cut. Some knives, you know, they don't have a nice protrusion like this one does. So I like that. Um, you got some little ridges up here. And some of you knife enthusiasts can tell us what those ridges are for, because I'm not quite sure. Got some little hex screws in there. And you see how they got that, that orange in there? That's just a little attention to detail. That's nice. That's nice. And get your pocket holder here. You can get to your screws there. Pressing. Yeah. You can get get to this. You can loosen this or tighten it. I wouldn't suggest that you do that because it is definitely set, in my opinion, right. You, you don't really need to do that unless it came loose, and I don't think it would, unless you're abusing the knife in some way. Um, but let's take a look at that. So that's probably your part number and on the bottom, um, maybe that's your steel. I don't know, fellas. Um, I'm not a, a knife guy, but I do appreciate a sharp knife and this is sharp. And so, fellas, these are at Lowe's and by themselves, like I said, they're like 18, 19 bucks. This is a good knife for 20 bucks. This is an excellent knife for 20 bucks. I've seen a lot of over inflated knives that wasn't anything like this costing 25, 35, $45. You're definitely getting your money uh, with this. I mean, that's just, you get both colors, orange. Orange is one of my favorite colors, so. I appreciate that. And this is pretty much the same thing. Just orange. And they kept those orange spacers in there for that as well. So, you know, my thing is this. If I see something nice and I see something at a good price, you know, I like to share. And, and tell other guys and let them know, hey, man, I found a diamond in the rough. And I think that's what this is. And so I want to thank you guys for checking this video out with me. Um, these are great beater knives, man. I mean, I don't know how much beating they would take, but for 17 bucks or around the holidays, you can get these for $7 a piece. Yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, remember to like, uh, subscribe, uh, send the video out to other guys. Uh, and remember, the thumbs up.